Hey YouTube, thought I'd do an update on the 125 gallon reef tank. Um, there's been some changes. I uh, haven't done a video on it for a few months now. Just been super busy and stuff like that. If you've watched any of my other videos recently, you know I've said the same thing in those that I just, uh, life's gotten in the way and haven't had much time to do any updates. But let's get started uh, and we'll go through what's changed, what's the same, what's new, what's old, all that kind of good stuff. Stay tuned. All right, so this is the 125 gallon reef tank. It's been rolling now for about two and a half years. Set it up in uh, June or July of 2017. Um, the, the main aquascape, as far as the rock structure and stuff is the same. I've moved some corals around, had some losses, things like that. And I'll just kind of go through everything with you. Starting over here, the green star polyp is doing real good. Uh, it's continuing to grow. Over here, um, you may remember that on top of this rock structure, there was uh, the NEMS. Well, they're now over in my new tank, the Red Sea E260 Max. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I think you'll like it. I've taken some of the SPS corals from over here and move them over to this side. So I've got a bird's nest, a couple others that I don't know the names of, and then I'm trying to revive this green trumpet coral. Um, I think this reddish one is a digi, but I don't recall for sure. And then there's this yellow encrusting coral of some sort. Um, some of these bright green um, trumpets, I guess they're called, that I'm trying to revive and then some, what's left of a few A cans down here. Um, as time goes on, I'm gonna be adding more to this tank. I've been concentrating more on the uh, e, uh, E260 for a while. Picked up a few new additions. This hammer here is new from a recent frag swab. This torch was over on the end right there before I moved it over here. This is a new addition, this frog spawn. And this frog spawn is part of the big colony that I have in the uh, 260, but that was over here as well before. So what I'm trying to kind of do is make this more of an SPS side and this more of an LPS and softy side, if that makes sense. I've got some zoas that are doing okay over in this area. I'm gonna need to separate these. Um, they're kind of growing too close, and I think there's going to be some warfare there. Um, the leather kind of comes and goes, which I'm told is normal. Right now, it had kind of shrunk, um, I guess, uh, what do you call it? Um, closed up, basically. Um, and now it's starting to kind of reopen, and you're seeing some polyp extension. The green polyps are kind of coming up. Got another piece of trumpet coral there. Um, a couple of pieces of, of Monty, some kind of a green encrusting coral that I've had since I first got the tank. Um, and then I moved a massive piece of Monty right there. I've got it hanging on a frag rack. I don't really like it. I'm going to probably get rid of it. Um, other than that, that's really about it for corals. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this kind of a two island aquascape or if I want to fill it in completely so I can get a heck of a lot more corals. I think what I'll do for now is fill up these two areas and see how I like that. And if I feel like I need more space for corals, I may add later. Um, to go through the fish, uh, we've had some losses. Um, probably none since I did the last video here, but I've got the snowflake clown fish. There's two of them. They haven't, like, I guess you'd say officially paired up yet but I brought them over from the other tank. They were in the bio cube before I took that down. I've got the yellow tang, he's hiding out back there right now. The scopius tang who has some permanent fin damage, but he's doing fine. Uh, there are three antheists in here. There's a six line wrasse that's really grown. Um, the yellow chorus wrasse back there. Melanaris wrasse you can see coming out from, from behind there. And then there's a blue hippo tang back there. I'm gonna back up a little bit so that these fish come out a little bit more. I've also still got the yellow watchman goby. He'll probably peek his head out eventually. And then I forget the name of this big goby I've got in here. 
<clears throat> I'd really like to get rid of him, but there seems to be no catching him. If anybody has any ideas, I've tried the pop bottle method of the trap. I bought one of these uh, acrylic or plastic traps online. I just haven't had any luck. But the reason I want to get rid of him is because he's just doing tons of excavating on the sand and I don't like that. There's the hippo tang and the yellow tang now coming out. There's the, this is the goby I was talking about that I really am having problems with. Where did he go? There he is. I forget the name of him. Um, the watchman usually hangs out right in this area here, so we may see him pick his, peek his head out. There's the hippo tang. There is the yellow tang. Um, I'd like to add a powder blue and a naso tang in here. I have not had good luck keeping naso tangs alive for whatever reason, but I want to give it another shot. If anybody has any pointers, please make a comment below. There's this goby again, just excavating away. Yeah, so, I don't know, that kind of wraps up the update on the tank. Kind of sitting back a little so that these fish will come out and be visible. I think what I'll do too is I'll put in a piece of nori so you can watch them eat. Um, we'll just go ahead and pause it for a second. So it's feeding time and we got a piece of nori in there on the uh, little magnetic clip holder. You can see they all love it and it's kind of fun to watch. Especially the tangs, but other fish uh, pick at it as well including that crazy goby. There's the watchman, he's just peeking his head out, seeing what's going on. Reflection from my other tank is kind of in the background, so trying to do our best here to watch the feeding. But really, that's about all I have for you today on this. Um, if this is something you like seeing, um, I do regular updates on my reef tanks, but also my, uh, I've got about a 35 plus tank fish room downstairs where I keep and breed freshwater cichlids and also freshwater dwarf shrimp. So um, if you're interested in that kind of stuff or the reef tank stuff, make sure that you uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell, Click that like button. Let me know what your favorite fish in this tank is and your favorite coral. And if you have any other general questions, I also run a small business called Aquatic Support Systems. We sell mainly freshwater stuff, but we do sell fish food that you would use in, in reef tanks. Southern Delight makes uh, a, a couple foods that saltwater fish eat. Um, so does Northfin and um, you know, some of you people may be into uh, freshwater stuff too. I sell a ton of shrimp food and fish food and products related to those items for those, those parts of the hobby as well. So, all right, I'll let you guys go, but until next time, uh, thanks for watching and uh, I appreciate everybody that subscribes and we'll talk to you later.